Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, August 1st, 2024, and this is our Daily Bread. The title is God on the Move. It's from Ezekiel chapter 1, verses 1 through 28, and the key verse is verse 12. It says, Each one went straight ahead. Wherever the Spirit would go, they would go, without turning as they went. In my thirtieth year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day, While I was among the exiles by the Kebar River, the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. On the fifth of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiachin, the word of the Lord came to Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, by the Kebar River in the land of the Babylonians. There the hand of the Lord was on him. I looked, and I saw a windstorm coming out of the north an immense cloud with flashing lightning and surrounded by brilliant light. The center of the fire looked like glowing metal, and in the fire was what looked like four living creatures. In appearance, their form was human, but each of them had four faces and four wings. Their legs were straight, their feet were like those of a calf and gleamed like burnished bronze. Under their wings on their four sides, they had human hands. All four of them had faces and wings, and the wings of one touched the wings of another. Each one went straight ahead. They did not turn as they moved. Their faces looked like this. Each of the four had the face of a human being, and on the right side, each had the face of a lion, and on the left, the face of an ox. Each also had the face of an eagle. Such were their faces. They each had two wings spreading out upward, each wing touching that of the creature on either side, and each had two other wings covering its body. Each one went straight ahead. Wherever the spirit would go, they would go without turning as they went. The appearance of the living creatures was like burning coals of fire or like torches. Fire moved back and forth among the creatures. It was bright and lightning flashed out of it. The creatures sped back and forth like flashes of lightning. As I looked at the living creatures, I saw a wheel on the ground beside each creature with its four faces. This was the appearance and structure of the wheels. They sparkled like topaz and all four looked alike. Each appeared to be made like a wheel intersecting a wheel. As they moved, they would go in any one of the four directions the creatures faced. The wheels did not change direction as the creatures went. Their rims were high and awesome, and all four rims were full of eyes all around. When the living creatures moved, the wheels beside them moved, and when the living creatures rose from the ground, the wheels also rose. Wherever the spirit would go, they would go, and the wheels would rise along with them because the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. When the creatures moved, they also moved. When the creatures stood still, they also stood still. And when the creatures rose from the ground, the wheels rose along with them because the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. Spread out above the heads of the living creatures was what looked something like a vault, sparkling like crystal and awesome. Under the vault, their wings were stretched out one toward the other, and each had two wings covering its body. When the creatures moved, I heard the sound of their wings, like the roar of rushing waters, like the voice of the Almighty, like the tumult of an army. When they stood still, they lowered their wings. Then there came a voice from above the vault over their heads as they stood with lowered wings. Above the vault over their heads was what looked like a throne of lapis lazuli, and high above on the throne was a figure like that of a man. I saw that, from what appeared to be his waist up, he looked like glowing metal, as if full of fire, and that from there down he looked like fire, and brilliant light surrounded him. Like the appearance of a rainbow in the clouds on a rainy day, so was the radiance around him. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. When I saw it, I fell face down, 
and I heard the voice of one speaking. Daily bread. First, God's presence is universal. Ezekiel's vision of the creatures with wheels and the moving throne shows that God's presence isn't limited to one place. This means that God is with you, whether you're in a classroom, dorm room, or far from home. God is always there, ready to guide and support you. Embrace the idea that God is with you in every part of your college life. Whether you're dealing with tough classes, personal problems, or planning your future, know that you can seek God's presence and guidance anytime. This can give you comfort and strength during times of uncertainty or stress. How can you be more aware of God's presence with you today? Second, God initiates change. The vision also shows that God is always active and working in new and unexpected ways. This should remind students that change and movement are part of God's plan. They can lead to growth and new opportunities. Be open to the changes and new opportunities that come your way. Whether it's a sudden shift in your studies, an unexpected friendship, or a new calling, think about how God might be using these changes to shape you and prepare you for His service. Instead of resisting change, explore how it might be part of a bigger plan. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for being with me wherever I go and for showing me that your presence is everywhere. Help me stay aware of how active you are and to embrace the changes and new experiences in my life as opportunities to see your work and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. One word, God is always with me.